Greetings, this is Dennis Daniels, and this is my tutorial on Nopix 4, which I'm uh, still waiting for. Waiting for Nopix version 5 on CD. Still waiting, but uh, tour of applications, and we're going to do a USB test drive, USB drive test, see if I can get a permanent storage. Let's go for it. Uh, la 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 la. I've already VNC'd in. I'll show you how to do that as well. Why not? Go to VNC, new connection, uh, 196.2.454.1. Click OK. <coughs> and unfortunately, I just forgot about that. Darn it. Uh, VNC takes a while to authenticate to Nopix. Takes a while to authenticate to Nopix. But eventually it does. <coughs> so uh, let's make sure we're still good. Okay, so uh, there is the Nopix and VNC. So uh, you can see that I've already got an SDA1 installed or an SDA1. I'm going to, that's my flash drive. I'm disconnecting that. I just disconnected it hot. Let's see if it changes anything. Uh, it doesn't look like it, so let's double click on it, see if anything... Can I mount device? Okay, okay, that's fine, but it still didn't go away. Alright, let's replug it in, <coughs> see if it changes anything. Oh, alright, we are plugged in now, my USB, and... Ah, okay, not a blo valid block device, click OK. It's trying to do something, I'm not quite sure what. Mounting dev SDA1. It looks like it worked because I'm getting a little KDE flopping thing. You can see it jerking around there. Mount SDA1. So, okay. Um, that looks like it. That looks like my file um, on, my, on my USB. So, I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and uh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Let's take a look. We got my SDA working. Um, I need to find my interface down there. Okay. Uh, let's do a quick tour of the 4.0. Uh, we have a development. Uh, diff patch front end. That could be interesting if I wanted to uh, load patches into software. Editors, Emacs, Joe, Kwrite. Uh, Vim isn't part of that. Oh, there it is. Uh, GVim, there it is. Joe. Edutainment, Science, KStars, which is a great little application. I've used it before. Emulators. Hmm, not quite sure what that means. Um, maybe a Telnet? I don't know. Games, we've got uh, all kinds of games. I don't play games generally on my computer, but iMaze, Chromium, Frozen Bubble recently got written up as a rather amusing game. Uh, board games, chess, Penguin Taipei. Not quite sure what that is. Uh, it's probably a Mahjong-like. Card games, kids games, Potato Guys. This guy, this is kind of a cute game. Puzzles. Strategy, X Battle, K Atomic, Sokoban like logic game. This is not an easy game, that's for sure. I've played it before. X Battle, Tetris like, Netris, Enigma. Well, gosh, with a name like that, you almost want to play it. Graphics, uh, lots of graphics here Bitmap Editor, GIMP, Ghost View, Snapshot, Screen Capture Program, Color Paint. Scribus, a uh, very nice little typing program, uh, word processing program. Text, GIMP, huge. Uh, that, that, that application has a lot of potential if it would just find its way into uh, making the interface less right-click intensive. 
Uh, let's see what else is under more. KFAX. Oh, the icon editor. This could be very fun for people who need to create like icons down here. Uh, you got your help, the internet, uh, lots of stuff in here. Now this is the one, this the NX client. I need to do a tutorial on see if I can get it to work. Actually, um, e-links, etherol, GPS drive. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, if I think I know what it is, G uh, global positioning service. Um, Newsreader links. I love this application. It's great text only web browser uh, Thunderbird XChat uh, Bluetooth cool tools and look at all these other things in our applications uh, MUT which is a uh, uh, email application uh, all kinds of other stuff things that don't even have don't even give names air snort great for sniffing packets on wireless networks uh, let's see, what is this? Canotix configure. What is Canotix? Oh, this is like uh, Myth TV or TiVo, I believe. Nopix, this is the configuring. Now, nah, create a persistent Nopix disk image. That's what we're going to do later. Save Nopix uh, configuration and create a persistent Nopix disk image. We're going to see what that, what those two do later on. Multimedia, sound, video, Viewers, this is again. I'm running this on a live on a live CD, so there's not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to do a whole lot in terms of loading CDs because it's already loaded. Uh, office applications, Open Office settings, uh, configure the panel system. Ooh, look at all that shells, more applications, uh, file manager, KDAT, disk free terminal program. Um, screen resize and rotate. Ooh, that could be fun if I had a rotating screen. Toys, XIs probably. Yeah, XIs is always there. Where is it? There it is, XIs. Everybody knows this one. Silly little thing, but for whatever reason, it's. How do you get rid of it? That's what I want to know. Ah, down here. Right click, close. Okay, and we'll finish our uh, utilities. Lots of utilities here. Again, the NX client is in another location. Screen, uh, save before light. See, there's so many applications in this, I don't even know what many of them are. And that's part of the reason why we want to look at them. Um, be nice if the Nopix supporters like myself have, if there were more people like myself actually doing. Uh, demonstrations of how to get stuff and how to manipulate stuff for the newbies out there control center because even though I've been using Linux for some time doesn't mean I know everything or even close to it as uh, many of my friends would <coughs> uh, my, many more my more skilled Linux friends would attest I'm I'm just a babe in the woods even though I've been doing it for a while System administration tools, sound and multimedia, security and privacy, regional accessibility, uh, power control, laptop battery, uh, peripherals, uh, the display. This is how you set the screen size. Digital camera. Gosh, let's see. I'm going to plug in my digital camera and see if it recognizes it. Why not? <coughs> I have a camera. It's a Sony F88. Let me plug it in, turn it on. There are pictures on it. I know there are because I just tested it. And let's go to, let's see if it picks it up. I just plugged it in. I turned it on. And now let's see if it picks it up. Uh, I just disconnected the mouse, but I still control because I'm using um, VNC'd in. Um, Let's see, digital camera, loading. Hey, look at that. It picked up my Sony. Let's take a look at it, see what happens if I double click on it. Not much, but I just plugged it in and it's working. Or looks like it could be working. Let's see what application I need to get it to load. 
Oh, look at that. Camera driver. Okay, camera settings, image settings. Um, it's clearly not the right size, though. Look at that. It's just big empty. Big empty. Why is that big empty? Is it still waiting? Is it still loading? Hard to tell. Clearly there should be something showing up here, but it's not. So I'll let it do that and let it do its thing. And see if I can get the let's see graphics. Did I see okay, GQ cam. That should load pictures. Loading the C D is spinning up. GQ cam is doing something. You can barely see the icon of the jumping camera there. Um, let's see if it's going to pick up my digital camera. And if it does, then we can maybe even play a video. Uh, let's see what the desktop is doing. Did it pick up the camera? I uh, didn't pick up the camera as a as a different device. I've got my CD-ROM, floppy, hard disk, uh, Nopix, and trash. But let's see, share desktop, digital camera control center. Okay, GQ cam apparently failed. Let's click OK. Uh, why did GQ Cam fail? I don't know. <coughs> GT Cam, I don't know what that is. It's trying to load something down here. Let's see if that's going to work. Again, the camera is on and the CD is spinning up. Okay, look at that. GT cam looks like it's working. Uh, I need to uh, got a bit of a problem here with sizing um, because I can't get all the way up to hmm can't get all the way up to the size. All right, so. Uh, view thumbnails, zoom out, refresh, file. All right, let's try that. Alt F, save photos, uh, save photos, view, view thumbnails, select camera. Okay, I'm going to add a camera. You can't see that, at folks at home, but um, interesting that it didn't actually let's see if it detects it there it did okay and apply could not initialize camera click OK could not initialize camera why can't we initialize the camera it's on it's in PTP mode it's on the universal serial bus um, how many serial buses do I have could not initialize camera try the other one could not initialize camera. Detect. Ooh, okay, there's plenty of cameras. Enhanced. Uh, allow multiple front ends. I have no idea what that means. I'm going to apply. Could not initialize camera. So I'll turn it off. Um, and then I'll turn it back on. Just turned it off. And it might have something to do with this thing working. Oh, darn it. New connection. Click OK. Um, and let's disconnect my USB drive, my flash drive, and I'm plugging the mouse back in while the Nobix decides what it's going to do, uh, if it's going to connect. And let's see, if I turn the camera back on, <coughs> and I'm going to try to initialize again. Apply. Hey! 
you can't see it at home folks but it is initializing um, let's see if it works let's see if it works I do have the en enhanced mode on there it is okay um, uh, did it finish okay initialize mode complete and let's see what we have inside initializing camera again store 001 that's a lot of storage so let's take a look we're loading we're loading okay lots of folders <clears throat> and it's much slower than well actually again I'm loading it through everything else that's already loaded so it's going to take a little longer to go through everything because I'm running it off of RAM and off a of CD drive so let's see what that does I'm not seeing any make that a little bigger I can close this click OK I want to reduce my screen the screen redraw time this actually I should kill this background as well because that's taking up a lot of CPU cycles as well click OK uh, it looks like it's hung maybe not still able to move it so let me oh window with that is not camera this is a blah, blah, blah. okay Oop, all gone so let's try it again <clears throat> see if it works I'm curious now uh, so I want to go to graphics GT cam uh, it's initializing the camera much faster this time let's open this up and curious to see what these different modes will do okay and could not get list for okay let's see what it does it's still doing something I don't know what uh, still waiting initializing camera okay refresh still listing folders PTP mode so maybe it doesn't like uh, maybe it doesn't like something was it not like I don't know clearly not happy uh, let's go to switch on menu USB connect okay still just keeps cycling through there doesn't it doesn't do anything different you can follow all this at home people um, this is uh, access I just clicked on the access initializing camera still doing something did it hang looks like it might have hung what is it doing don't know clearly not as easy as I wanted it to be uh, let's go ahead and cancel this yeah it's hung okay so um, let's see if I can remember how to fire up an application to kill a dead program. I believe it's pkill. Let's see if I can get it to work. And it just takes a while. Settings. Okay, p kill. Let's see. GT cam is wanting us to t do something with it. Yep, couldn't I get list for files? Okay, click OK. Let's see, pkill, what does it do? Program kill is what it stands for. No matching criteria specified. Uh, SID list, 
Okay. Um, EUID. PPID program. Let's see if that's what we want. PKill dash P requires an argument. Um, let's see. Well, let's try dash U. UID. No. There's a program that I used to use uh, that would allow me to pull up all of the applications that are currently running um, and then pass a pkill argument through it. Don't remember what that app, the, what that program was, but anyway, let's uh, go back to VN, uh, go back to our GTCam, um, Alt F4 to kill it, and it's gone. So, um, echo, echo. This has been fun. Uh, now that <coughs> we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the camera. Replug in the USB drive, and we're going to create a persistent drive on my USB. And hopefully, when we log it, when we go back, we'll have our history here. So, uh, where are utilities? There it is. I think it's under utilities. Nopix. Let's go to Nopix. Configure. Create a persistent disk. Nopix disk image. Let's see if that is what I want it to do. Creating a Nopix persistent disk image. And I want to write it to SDA1. SDA1. And it's taking its sweet time. Be nice, actually, what I need to do is on your hard disk or changeable medium like memory sticks, compact flash, or zip. Yes, okay. Uh, yes. I do. Uh, SDA1 VFAT. Okay. I'm okay with that. Do you want to save your home directory? You're going to spend a very long time. No. Don't want to do that. And please enter the desired size of your persistent uh, available. Okay. So, is that, oh, in, in megabytes. Okay, yeah, that's fine, 100 megs. Oh, uh, now I just assigned 100K to it. So, how about if I give it, uh, let's give it 50,000. Let's see, 50,000, click OK. And please enter the desired uh, in your home directory in megabytes. Oh, okay. So it's a 128 meg drive, so I'll give it 50 megs. Hmm. Uh, in megabytes. Okay, let's try 10. Is it going to work? Something is clearly not happy. Uh, well, we'll give it 0020, see if that changes anything. Please enter desired size of your persistent home directory in MB. Well, okay, I'm just going to go with the default and see if that works. Default. Doesn't work. Uh, but it, you can see that it is there. Uh, writable, oh, okay, let's turn on the right. Um, hmm. It is set to writable. Uh, click OK. OK, let's try it again. <coughs> Changing the setting on my flash drive. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like it's going to do it. Enter the desired size. I'm giving it 100 megs, so let's drop that down. We'll say 70. Click OK. Nothing. Okay, so it's not going to work. Uh, but that was interesting. Um, uh, Alright, so USB test drive, see if I can get a pers permanent storage. 
It didn't work. Uh, let's take a look at what is on the drive. Uh, I can close this, kill that. Double click on the hard on the HD. Shared. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, it's already mounted. Yes, I know that. So um, five. There's only 1.5 meg there. <coughs> Um, no, the second window is popping up because I double clicked on it. And let's see, Alt F4 and Alt F4. And let's see, I'll pull up the drive information here. Um, let's see, HD. Uh, what is it? Uh, HD dash H. Invalid option. Oh, hex dump. Okay, so apropos drives. That's going to take a while for it to load. <coughs> oh, hey, but it did work. So let's see. Um, let's see. Memory. Tell me. Tell me. Rendition. Uh, keyboard, KBD, Glide, Glint, CCAV, WaveLAN, Device. I know that. Um, let's see. Magnetic Storage, MD. MD sounds familiar. No. Uh, iFlash. Mm, ta -ta -ta -ta, form driver, f nitro, floppy, dummy, driver, disk seek D, driver. Uh, where is my Linux? Okay, so let's go to my Linux, trusty dusty. Uh, pull up Linux. <coughs> uh, command. Oh, I really don't like that either. Okay. Uh, that really bothers me as well. That really bothers me when I click on it and it goes to find. That just irritates me to no end. Linux. Linux. Command line. And there it is. Write shell scripts. Linux commands. Okay, we go to SSH, command line tips. Again, uh, what I want to do is pull up the information on uh, change directory, change group, change root. Let's see. Wow. Okay, HARD. Not dry. Okay, space. F3. Display free disk. Okay, DF. So we just go back and Q and go to DF and see what it does. DF, okay, it's pulling up SDB, which is my, this is my um, echo, SDB. Let's see, why is it doing that though? Um, okay, I've got to use my mouse over here. SDB1. Okay, so SDB1 looks good. Now what I need to do is figure out the bright properties. Echo. SDB is my uh, flash drive. Now... Uh, I want to write my history, so let's take a look at the history so far. Not a whole lot, but we're going to go ahead and write it. So, history, uh, history, and where's the directory? Union, come on, finish the command for me. All right, we'll go with dev, SD, 
Come on, finish the command for me. No. Dev SDB1 history dot txt. Not a directory. <coughs> uh, that should be a directory. Oh, it's under mount. Duh. Okay, so let's repeat that. Uh, MNT. There it goes. Read only file system. Well, let's try it again. Uh, just iMation has a locking mechanism on it, so let's, I just unlocked it. It's a read only file system. Okay, echo. How to change from read only to read write. Okay, that's my current question. Uh, I'd love to be able to copy paste this. Let's see if I can do it. It won't work, but I'm going to try anyway. Right click, copy, and we'll go over into my other operating system, XP, and try and paste. Ho! Oh, it worked. <laughs> That's too cool for words. Uh, so, let's try that again. Here's my history. And we'll do a history command. Well, I didn't expect that to work at all, but it did. Okay, right click. And copy. And go into my desk. And paste. Hey, look at that. Nopix, VNC, copy and paste works. VNC, um, change that, copy and paste via VNC works. Okay. Wow, okay. I want to thank you all for watching. This has been a tutorial um, demonstration. My name is Dennis Daniels. I want to thank you again for watching. Uh, happy computing.